reaching out to a community impacted by Norfolk's 10-year revitalization project in the St. Paul's area. Now, a lucky few are completing a paid apprenticeship with the city's utilities department. It gives the city a workforce it needs with an abundance of vacant positions, and the residents are getting valuable training they can turn into full-time careers. Sit on your sides, Kara Dixon is in the newsroom with how this program works. Kara. Laura Stephanie, the program just wrapped up its first cycle of apprentices. They were chosen out of 150 applicants to learn and work in the water divisions to get experience that's sometimes hard to come by. Making sure this place stays functioning is a top priority for Norfolk. It's one of two water plants in the city that services one million people, including military bases in our area. So without the foundation that makes the system work, we wouldn't have such an amazing water system. And that foundation is its workers. But sometimes it's hard to fill jobs here, according to Norfolk Utilities spokeswoman Rachel Gall. To become an applicant, you have to have certain licenses, like a commercial driver's license, CDL. And that could be a barrier to entry for people to obtain that. So through the Operations Apprenticeship Program, we actually gave them those hands-on training and skills so they can receive those type of licenses, and we covered the cost of them. The program just ended its first class with 11 people working to be equipment operators or mechanics. It's an opportunity for a great career, and that's why they reached out to those living in the St. Paul's area. And our city manager gave us a directive. He asked, how could we help elevate the residents of the St. Paul's area out of the poverty and also positively contribute to the revitalization project? A different look at promoting what's within to help the whole community flourish. Now they're getting ready for even more apprentices. Reviewing it, we're meeting with the apprentices, learning you know, what worked well, what improvements we can make to the program. Pretty much we just want to give them more training, more skills, so that when they come out, um, they're ready to rock and roll. To make sure our infrastructure stays stable. Now, Gall says anyone can apply for their jobs or their apprenticeship program, but they will be out in the community doing another grassroots effort to get more people to apply. We'll have that information over on wavy.com. In the newsroom, I'm Kara Dixon, 10 on your side.